Well, I went to fire up my uh, dual carrier unit air conditioners uh, here, and one of my compressors did not come on, and I could not figure out what <clears throat> would make that not come on. I spoke to a friend who's an electrician. He told me to go manually push the contactor, which is a solenoid at the compressor that engages the high voltage to the compressor and I did that I went and pressed that connector and the compressor worked fine but it wasn't engaging on its own wasn't getting the oh I guess the 24 volts that it should have been getting so now I had to figure out where the voltage was being interrupted and <clears throat> turns out I went up in my attic and looks like my wife was right a couple weeks ago when she said she heard squirrels up there because what I found was a chewed wire uh, that I had to splice back together. Apparently this is a wire that goes to a float switch that tells me that the drip pan is dangerously full. And in that event, you would not want the compressor to continue running and generating more condensation, and that would kill it right there. So, simple thing. It was just a chewed uh, switch wire. Splice that back together, and everything's working fine. Good luck if you, good luck if you have the same issue.